Letters Alive. This is our ELA Supplemental Curriculum Kit. It incorporates many learning modalities using our 3D zoo animals to teach the skills and concepts for early literacy. In a fun, engaging way, too. And it can be used in the classroom mm -hmm. and remote teaching. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's watch as a couple of kindergarten classes use Letters Alive to learn all about Henry Horse and the letter H. And notice how engaged and active the kids are during the lesson. Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> what is it? Horse. Everybody say horse. 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 What sound? Horse. What sound? So we have a horse. horse. What letter? H. What letter? H. What letter? H. What letter? H. Listen. <gasps> What sound? <laughs> All right, here's your video. And I want to hear my good readers. We're going to read these sentences. The. The. Is. Little. Oh. All right, listen. The horse is. Little. Your turn. The horse is little. What was this thing called? Do you remember? Pepe. Oh, what was it? Period. And when we see the period, what do we do? Stop. Very good. Big. Uh, read. The horse is big. Beautiful. Listen to those good readers. Video. Yellow. Um, can a horse run? Yes. Run. What's he doing? Running. All right. So what's our animal? Horse. Everybody say horse. Horse. What sound? Very good. And how do we spell? Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Oh! 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 All right. It's a horse. It looks like a painted pony. Let's hear his name. Henry Horse. Henry Horse. Say Henry Horse. Henry Horse. What do you notice about the um, H's in his name? What do you notice? They have two. They're capital. There's two and they're capital because it's his name, right? Yeah. What sound does the letter H make? Let's find out if you're right. Good job. All right, let me see. I'll show you a little video about this animal. Put my video card down. Oh, oh, baby! 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 baby. baby. What do they call the baby? I wonder what they call the baby. A baby is called a colt or a foal. I'm going to show you the sentence and um, then we'll do it together. So here we go. We have the, the, the horse can fly. No. No. Oh. Oh. Let's read that one together. The horse can fly. He's telling you, can he fly? No. Eat. What do you think a horse eats? Hay. Are they a carnivore or an herbivore? Herbivore. Herbivore. Eat. All right. What is he eating? It says oats, which is kind of a grain, right? Yeah. It is a grain. All right. But they also eat hay and grass and those kind of things. So let's now that you've seen Letters Alive in the classroom, here are a couple of ways that you can use Letters Alive to teach virtually. And notice now we have the letter A, uppercase and lowercase, so that it can toggle back and forth. And these letters are 3D, which is very cool. Note the buttons. Here are the letter name. A. And the short and long vowel sound. A. A. All right. Can. Can a toucan fly? Let's see if he flies. Fly. Whoa, what's he doing? All right. Here we go. The toucan can fly. Everybody read it with me. The toucan can fly. I want to stop there because there's so much to say about Letters Alive and the lesson plans. and. I Greg, I want, go ahead and jump in there. Yeah, so we've used Letters Alive for what now, five years? Yeah. Yeah, so we use it in conjunction with ABC Bootcamp 
And we, we've been, you know, we've talked for years about the engagement, the results. So this year we did ABC boot camp with Letters Alive. So we did the Zookeeper ABC boot camp. Um, we did it completely virtually. And so this enti the entire first 26 days of school, we were virtual. And so I was definitely nervous with ABC Bootcamp because I didn't know how it would work through a screen. So, um, but you could see in the video of me and my, my wonderful rainbow overalls um, that the kids were engaged with the animals just like they were in the classroom. And so every day they, they were predicting the animals. They wanted to know what animal we were meeting. They were excited when the animals popped up. They were answering the questions, you know, can the toucan fly? Can a toucan swim? So we had that same level of engagement and excitement um, and I was very excited at the end of ABC boot camp when we did our um, assessments with ESGI to, to see that we had 70% mastery of letters and sounds, um, which is just a little below where we, where we would be in a, in a normal in-person um, year. So normally in-person year, we're, we have about 80% mastery on average um, with ABC boot camp at the end of those 26 days. So getting to that 70% mark, doing it virtually was was um, very exciting for me. Um, and I know it was because of the ABC bootcamp and having that Letters Alive piece included because it really, really engages the kids and gives them, you know, something to hold on to. Like it's it's that memory, like you were talking, we talked about at the beginning. And so it really helps them. Um, and again, you never know how the virtual experience is working and how what the kids are receiving and what they're holding on to. And so we're, we're, we've been back in person for a few weeks and we, we've now moved to Word Family Bootcamp. And so we've been using the word building um, feature of Letters Alive. And we, we were doing it the other day and we finished all of our words and the kids were like, hey, we wanna see the animals. We wanna see the animals. We wanna see the animals. And I sent you the video uh, and I will post the video on our Facebook so you can see it. But they were just as excited to see those animals again as they were the first time we saw them. And so it's, it's like you said, it's that social emotional piece as well. They, they've got that connection um, to, the, to those animals. And so whether you're in person or whether you're virtual, if you're looking for um, something to really take that phonics instruction to the next level, this is a, a fantastic tool. Um, it's always the, the top of our list, one of our must haves. Um, and so um, definitely look into it. Um, donors choose, you know, talk to your school, your district, your PTO, um, find the funding because it, it, it's a game changer in the classroom. Yeah, and, and I love the, the, the ABC Bootcamp. Of course, we call it Zookeeper ABC Bootcamp, but that's all your stuff with our animals. And we're finding that it's a six week program, time you assess them in the beginning and at the end. And what a great way, uh, especially with the gap that we're having, you know, maybe if you even got it and launch, even if it's virtual or in classroom, um, every day you're introducing an animal, a letter and sound to try to close that gap. And, and that's what we're hearing. And uh, it's just a fantastic way to engage those kids and close that gap in, in six weeks. And even for first grade and second grade, I think I have, you know, watching one of those videos, I saw my kids from last year and mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I never got to say goodbye to them, and so it, it's 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 it, it really gets you when when to see them and be like, man, we missed out on so much. But I also worry about them because I know they missed, you know, basically a quarter of kindergarten. And then, as as amazing as as teachers are doing with virtual learning, it's just not the same. And so there's that concern that they they missed that last quarter of kindergarten, and they're missing some of the you know beginning of the year first grade. And so I know that. Letters Alive is a, is a great way to help close that gap. Um, because I've seen, the, the, I've seen what it can do year after year after year. And I'm like, if, if it can work that well with my students who are 95% EL, most of them come into the classroom speaking no English. I know that it can help everyone. Um, and especially now, like you said, with that gap, this is a, a great way to close that gap. Whether you were talking about kindergarten or first grade or even second grade. Um, this is a great way to, to, to kind of fill that gap and, and to help the kids catch up.